Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And I am back with another resin tutorial. So today we are going to be making these adorable little ice mountains. So I used some iridescent holographic flakes and some clear resin to make these adorable little ice mountains. They're super easy, even if you're a beginner and they come out so cute. Of course, you can make them in all different colors, all different styles. I'm going for a winter wonderland theme for my um, winter wonderland tablescape. But depending on what you're going for, you may pick a different theme altogether. Either way, we're going to get started, jump right into this, and I'm going to show you how to make these. They're very durable. <laughs> Let's get started. All right, y'all. So we are going to get started. As you can see, I have quite a few projects out here. So when I pour resin, I like to be able to mix up quite a bit of resin, maybe in a couple colors. Today I'm doing iridescent and rose gold and then pour a few projects at a time. That way I don't have to just do, you know, a couple, couple little bits of resin. So first we're just going to go ahead and mix resin and then we will jump into each project individually. So first things first, since I'm doing two different colors, going to go ahead and mix, I think, I'm thinking 300 milliliters in my big cup here. So I'm going to do 150 of A, 150 of B, and mix those thoroughly together. Once I get everything mixed up and ready to go, we'll, we'll switch. So make sure once you're actually working with the resin here, that you have your gloves on and that you have your respirator on. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my respirator on and I'll, I'll try to put some instructions up here on the screen since you won't be able to hear me anymore.
last but not least the mountain so these are pretty thick molds but this should really just peel away from the edges and silicone does stretch pretty far so like I could pull this all the way back and get that mountain out you don't want to do it too much but oh that's pretty I feel like it's not um as shiny as I would like I'm probably gonna have to put a top coat of resin on this to really get that crystal clear look but that's really pretty so now you can tell what the inside of this mold is all right let's put a clear coat on that one all right so we're going to go ahead and put a top coat on both of these now actually you know what need to need to do this first need some more hummingbirds and instead of letting this waste the rest of this year doesn't resin go to waste start a new mountain Okay, so clear coat. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead, I was gonna pour, but we really don't need that much. So I find the best way to do this is with a gloved hand. Just go ahead and get some resin, work it into all those nooks and crannies. You can also pour it on or use a stir stick or use a paper towel. I find that you just can't really feel it that way. So this is how I do my clear coats. As long as your hand is gloved, you're fine. Do not use an ungloved hand. So you can see the difference between the top of that shiny mountain and the bottom. And that's, that's what we're doing is we're just shining this baby up. Shining it up. Look at that. So good. All right, so I'm going to show you up close. See this part by my thumb? That's all lackluster. And now when we put top coat on it. Now most, not all, most molds have a shiny kind of surface so that when you take them out they already look like this um most like the little stamp molds i did for christmas those came out super shiny and that's because that mold was designed to give you that shiny coat this mold is from the same place and has similar look but this these two molds that gave me that lackluster finish they were labeled as candle molds so this mountain and the gnome. Now a candle mold has no need for a shiny finish when it's done. So that's why you can still use a silicone candle mold, obviously. I poured resin into it, it looks great. But you will have to top coat it. Otherwise it will come out like a candle and not like resin, shiny resin. So I'm putting this on a silicone mat to dry. That way it will pop right off and any drips will be easily dealt with. But now we're gonna go ahead and do our gnome because he is dry. All right, y'all, I know that end cut off just a little abruptly. I went to make the second ice mountain and my camera died. So I hope you still got the full gist of exactly how to make these. The main tip is that if you pour in layers, it's going to go much smoother with a lot less bubbles inside. But overall, these little iridescent flakes are so easy to work with and they're beautiful at the end. Now, if only this little ice mountain mold had been glossy from the get-go, we wouldn't have had to do a top coat, but top coat isn't hard and they dry super quick. So all in all, quick, easy project with great results. Hope you liked this project. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, show your friends, tell your mom, 
go see the next project. I already have the Winter Wonderland tablescape that I made these up on the um, channel. I will leave that link below. So hope you have a good one. Bye.